ultra lightweight, spacious, and easy to set up. The Marmot Force two-person tent is perfect for one or two backpackers that are looking for an ultralight, compact option in a freestanding, very easy to set up tent. We're gonna take a look at all the features and talk about what makes the Marmot Force so special. This is a freestanding design and you've got a really interesting pole construction here. So Marmot uses a little bit different configuration than I've seen on typical freestanding tents. Um, they've got a big pole on either side of the tent, so you have really nice space at your head and at your feet. So these round poles right here are gonna bring that interior space up and kind of out of your way. So um, as opposed to like an A-frame style tent where you don't have a lot of room up here in your head um, as you're sitting up in the tent, this offers a lot of space at your head and at your feet. In addition to that, they have a really big brow pole that goes out past the ends of the tent. And so that just gives more space around your head and around your feet. So as you're laying in the tent, if you have your feet up, they're not going to be hitting the side walls and bringing that condensation into the tent. This pole right here, perpendicular to the brow pole, brings the side wall here up a lot more vertical. So you have more of a box shape with this tent. So just a lot of livability inside the tent for an ultralight backpacking tent. And a special thing about this pitch construction, if you purchase a footprint separately, uh, it does, footprint's not included here, but you can use a fast pitch or a lightweight pitch setup where you just use the footprint on, staked out onto the ground and set up the poles in the rain fly and leave the tent body behind. The fabrics here on the tent are very lightweight, but also durable. On the floor, it is a 40D waterproof fabric and you've got durability there, but also very lightweight. Up here, um, sort of a bathtub style floor, so you have a little bit of protection that comes up into the tent body. And with that, there's a, a cantonary cut, so they bring this seam up off of the ground. So that's intentional. Um, you want that seam up off of the ground so it doesn't bring water in, but it is seam taped. Um, this is a 30D nylon ripstop fabric, so durable, uh, durable fabric there. And then here in the tent body, just a very lightweight mesh. This keeps the weight of the tent down as well. Uh, this offers a lot of breathability in warmer conditions. The poles themselves are DAC NFL aluminum poles. They're very lightweight. Since they're aluminum, they're durable as well. They pack down to be pretty small, so this also is a pretty small pack size for the tent. There are two doors, one on either side, so you have the convenience of entering and exiting from the other side. And on tents like this, I usually use one door as kind of a back door and the front door as um, the entry and exit door, so really convenient there. They're really wide open D-shaped doors and you can roll back both doors with a really easy toggle. The space inside this tent, like I said earlier, is very spacious. So a lot of room up here at the head with this long pole that reaches out all the way past the end of the tent, past the end of the tent at your foot as well. Um, you've got lots of interior space here. So for an ultra lightweight tent for two backpackers, I can definitely see two people comfortably fitting in this tent with your standard 20 inch wide sleeping pads. There are pockets and organization inside the tent. Both campers or both backpackers have a pocket right on either side. There's a nice little diffusion pocket right up here. So if you put a headlamp in there, you get a nice diffused light with this pocket here. There are attachment points on the inside where you can hang gear and all in all, just a lot of space inside the tent. Convenience with those two doors as well. I put the rain fly on the tent and the material here is 30D nylon ripstop. It's very lightweight, but also durable with that ripstop. And this is technically what I would consider the back door. Uh, the vestibule back here is a little bit smaller than the vestibule on the other side, but you have the convenience of two vestibules. 
as I talked about before, kind of a back door to store your gear and the front door to enter and exit. The other side vestibule does have a little ventilation, so you can open that up from the inside. It's really convenient. And both sides will roll back. So I have this side rolled back uh, just to show the ventilation here. You can roll back the other side. So if you have a nice sunny day like today, you can roll back all four sides of the vestibule and have really good ventilation with this breathable mesh. There are two plastic clips on the inside of the rainfly and they match up with the pole ends of the brow pole that goes along the top of the tent. So it clips on there really easily. And Marmot uses a little red tab so that you can orient the rainfly the right way every time. And it's really easy. What I do when I have the rain fly, I find those two red ends, those two red pieces, and I match them up with the red tabs on the tent. So the rain fly is not symmetrical. So the red tabs are on the front side of the tent and they match up with the front side of the tent body. The zipper on the rain fly has a nice storm flap in front of the zipper. So protects from rain and wind. The other side of the vestibule does have a vent. So you've got a lot of breathability, a lot of ventilation there. And since you can roll back both sides on a nice sunny day like this, you can roll back both sides of the rain fly and have a lot of cross ventilation. When you set up the rain fly, there's really convenient clips. And what I normally do is I put the rain fly on top of the tent and I find the Velcro tabs on the inside and I attach those first and that way you can have a good setup and then I attach all the clips. But the clips in general here are really simple and streamlined. They're easy to use. They're also very lightweight. You also have reflective guy out points on this tent. So it's really easy to find it at night if you're using a flashlight and there are lots of guy out points on the tent and Marmot doesn't include stakes and guy out lines for every single one of those points, but they give you enough to stake out the tent really well. So if you're in some windy weather and you know you're gonna have some nasty weather, I might suggest getting a couple extra stakes and a couple extra guy out lines if you know you're gonna wanna use all of them. With the innovative pole structure that gives a lot of livability inside the tent, the lightweight but very durable materials. This is the perfect backpacking tent for your next adventure. It is the Marmot Force two-person tent.